Hi there, and welcome back to another episode. This time, I've traveled to an island in the inner archipelago of Stockholm, where the Viking Age's largest known settlement, Birka, was located. A little over a thousand years ago, this would have been a very busy place, teeming with civil and commercial life. But today, surprisingly little remains visible above ground. The Vikings, for instance, are nowhere to be seen. But there are still many reasons to make a visit, so come with me and I'll show you three interesting things to see in Birka. First up, the Viking village. It's a reconstructed hamlet where everything is period accurate. Or at least almost everything. During a few summer weeks, it's even populated by real Vikings. See them cooking, forging, playing. partying, and, if you're lucky, sailing in one of the boats. Let's just take a moment to enjoy the view. And thank the volunteers that make this happen. the museum, where you'll find all you need to know about Birka and its people. Learn about one of the biggest findings in recent years. That the famous warrior tomb turned out to be the tomb of a woman. We can't say for certain that she herself was a warrior, but she was definitely of the warrior kind. Read all about her and then make a special visit to the site of her tomb. Perhaps the most amazing spot on this island is at the Ansgar Cross. From here you can gaze at the horizon and feel in touch with the forefathers who lived here and sailed in these waters. An epic place if there ever was one. What do you think about these three things to see in Birka? Let me know in the comments. And if you haven't been here, it's definitely time for you to come and see for yourself. And I'll see you in the next episode. Take care.